In Europe, the rise of Nazi Germany was of little concern to the Confederate States and its isolationist foreign policy. Many Confederate leaders visited Germany and attended the mass Nazi rallies. Congress officially supported Germany's new Aryan racial policies, calling them biologically correct. Hitler returned the visit in the spring of 1935, touring the boroughs of New York City. Although protested by Jewish Americans, the trip was a resounding success. In Washington, Hitler proposed that America join with him in a final solution to the problem of inferior races. Hitler's plan was to exterminate the Jews of Europe and create a pure Aryan continent. Secretary of State John Ambrose Fauntroy III responded by suggesting that Germany not exterminate Jewish citizens, but instead use them as a productive slave labor force. Taking Hitler on a tour of American slave labor plantations and factories, Fauntroy and Hitler discussed the possibilities. No agreement was reached, but Secretary Fauntroy made it clear the CS felt it immoral to waste human livestock but promised not to intervene in any military conflict Germany had with its neighbours.